Hi, I'm Chris Ball. I'm an IPM specialist in Southern California. I go around and count all the insects on the citrus trees in the area and, well, give a idea or a picture of what the health of the groves, the citrus groves are. IPM stands for Integrated Pest Management. And what that means is that you're integrating your ecology uh, beneficial insects to your pest, pest management program. And previously to IPM being conceived, it was just conventional methods. So you were just using chemical methods from about the end of World War II up until the 1980s when there was a rise in beneficial insects and raising them in a lab and introducing them onto your orchard. At the Seasong Orange Grove, we saw a lot of cit uh, Asian citrus psyllid, uh, nymphal forms mainly, and we saw some eggs, which is common for this time of year, especially on organic groves and groves that aren't treated at all with pyrethroid. You'll still see a good portion of Asian citrus psyllid out there. And one last point I should make about this is that that is a recent invasive in the last 10 years. And we're probably seeing a predominant amount of them because the native uh, insects aren't used to eating them yet. And of course, we also saw the, the usual characters for California citrus out there, mealybug and uh, the citrus red scale, and of course the Argentine ant, which is a uh, pretty big problem in citrus orchards because of their insect harvesting. And they'll take the honeydew producing insects, your aphids, your mealybugs, and your scale insects, and they'll harvest the honeydew out of their backside. And that's why there's such a big issue, because they'll, they'll make uh, what could be a small problem even bigger with our normal pests that are out in the grove. Asian citrus psyllid, otherwise known as ACP for short, spreads a disease known as Wan Long Bing. And you'll hear a lot of folks say HLB or citrus greening. And some folks will say the green dragon for dramatic effect. And what citrus greening does, it affects the roots of the tree and it will cut down fruit production by about 50% by making the fruit lopsided and creating bitter juice that comes out of it. And when it hit Florida really hard, they lost 50% of their crop. California has been holding it off for 10 years with uh, scheduled pesticide sprays, a lot of those being pyrethroids, and for the organic pyrethrin. And it's uh, going to be a major problem. The, the sprays aren't working. They're disrupting the ecology. They're disrupting the biological controls that the state has introduced in the past, the insects that have been reared in a lab. I think that the way to solve the problem is accept that we are going to have Wan Long Bing on our orchards and we're gonna to have to manage it, deal with it, and look for resistant varieties in the future. But we need to focus on the biological control and the ecology. We need to find an insect that will eat the citrus psyllid. And at the University of uh, Riverside, they found it. The, there's a uh, Chrysophyla Comanche. It's a type of green lacewing that's native to California. And predominantly they found uh, Asian citrus psyllid or ACP in its gut. We also have a parasitic wasp that's in production now at an insectary called Foothill Agricultural Research in Corona. And that parasitic wasps is called Hamerixia. And the state produced it for residential citrus, but they never did it for the orchards. And that's where we're gonna see most of the problems are on the orchards. So the, I think the really nip this thing in the butt, that the state needs to step up and ramp up their biological control program and focus on the ecology of what's going on in the orchard to combat Asian citrus psyllid rather than just spraying a lot, a lot, a lot.